Hi everybody, well it's that time of the week that I look forward to, uh, you know, Friday, we've got the weekend ahead of us, it's been a beautiful day today, really a warm spring day I'm glad to say, it lifts the spirits, but it's also that time of the week where I finish a few knives and my dog does come back from her walk, she'll want to come and say hello. Uh, here I am, Elsa! Come and see me then. Come and see the hog. Don't then. Right. <laughs> uh, finish a few knives off, and so it's payday. It's payday for me. Um, got a, a new little uh, neck knife I've been working on. I've been wanting to uh, add something to the wisp because I felt the wisp was a little bit on the small side, and the wisp was really a fire striking knife, a fire starting knife. So. Um, and a handy little knife to have, but I felt I needed to um, come up with a, a new neck knife design. I've been working on one for a while, uh, and these things aren't sort of born overnight. They're, you, you, know, you tend to sort of, well I do anyway, I, I come up with a design, play with, play with it and grind it, grind it out and see how it works. And sometimes they just get, just, they, they, get they get trashed, and I've got a few, a few early designs that uh, I didn't like. One, one there, for example, that I uh, I wasn't happy with for, for some reason or whatever, and so I um, I trashed it. Uh, but I've uh, come up with another one. I say these things aren't born on the back back of a fag packet. You know they they do take time. Mine tend to um, be born on the back of old envelopes rather than fag packets. But that aside, they still take a bit of time, and this is what I've come up with. Uh, so that's going to be my new neck knife design. This is just the, the pattern piece. And I've, I've got four, I've heat treated four. There's the first four that I've heat treated. And uh, I think I think it's a, it's a lovely design. Uh, I don't think I've copied anybody. Uh, I think that's my shape handle and that's not copied anybody uh, I've got a bit of belly on it so it'll make a good skinner uh, and it's a decent sized blade so general good good cutting tasks I uh, don't think anyone can be upset about that uh, you can get a good three fingers onto it so you've got a good secure grip uh, good general purpose knife I think so that is it I'm going to call it the, the wasp I'm still going to I'm still going to be doing the wisp. So you've got the wisp. There's my little wisp, which is really a, a, a one-fingered knife. Still a handy little knife. Uh, the wisp and the wasp. So that's that. Uh, more details will be on the website uh, soon for these. Um, Kevin, uh, finally got around to finishing your knife you'll be glad to know and um, thanks very much for your patience um, not heard a squeak from you uh, well, I know you've been watching all the videos so obviously I, you are, I have kept in contact with you uh, so there it is that's your knife uh, I've done a, done a few still, video, still bit photos so I'll put them up at, at points along the video as well so you can see the knife uh, uh, close up on the stills it's come out very well, I'm very pleased with it. It's a scout which I have, uh, it's in a left hand sheath. Well, the dangler's on back to front. Hang on a sec, we can soon rectify that. I'm doing some stabilising out there, if you can hear a sort of buzzing noise. That's the pump, the vacuum pump running. I'm stabilising Ken Ferg's wood. So Ken, if you're watching, your wood is now being stabilised in preparation. Uh, there we go. So there's your uh, Kevin's knife with the dangler, brass hardware. And on the back you've got the, the logo of the Effington horse. Uh, the lever I'm using now is from, from a new supplier uh, and it's absolutely superb it's almost like suede on the on the back. It's a beautiful, 
finish to the lever. It's an Italian double butt lever, and the quality is just outstanding. Here we go again. Elsa, come on in. Come and see me. Come and see me. Oh no. So the Western style sheaf. Um, it's all a good fit, so there's no rattles, and the knife won't fall out. I slightly modified the design uh, of the, the, the Scout because Kevin's a deer stalker so I've given the blade more depth and I've given it a bit more belly. Uh, I've swept the front of the scales back on the Scout. Uh, on the Classic they're going to remain square but on the Scout I think I'm going to sweep it back. Uh, Mosaic pins, absolutely fantastic. No air bubbles. Very happy with how that's come out. Uh, black liners, good plunges, good tip, good bevel, good hand rubbing. In fact, it's a, it's a good all-round knife. I, I'd be quite happy to keep this one for myself, actually. But uh, I, th I think it's a, a, a nice knife with a slightly deeper blade. So I, I hope that'll be uh, acceptable, Kevin. So that's basically just a short video, just showing uh, my new neck knife design. And, and Kevin's knife there. Uh, got a bit of a growth of beard coming on. I think uh, some implements could be coming my way soon to uh, to remove that, but that's uh, a subject for another video, <laughs> another video at a future date. So anyway, this being Friday, I'm going to now go edit this video and enjoy the rest of my evening. So I would bid you all good evening and uh, uh, I hope you have a, a great weekend. And see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.